Retrievers are popular breeds and make fantastic choices as family companions. But how do you choose between the Labrador Retriever versus the Golden Retriever? They're both incredibly similar, sharing intelligence, athleticism, and goofy personalities that dog lovers admire. Let's find out what these two great retriever breeds have in common and their differences and decide which breed might be best for your home. The Labrador Retriever descends from the St. John's Water Dog a now extinct breed that originated in Canada. Bred to help fishers drag their nets across the ice and retrieve fish beginning in the 1700s. The St. John's dogs were exported to England sometime in the early 19th century as hunting retrievers. In England, the Earl of Malmesbury named it after Canada's Labrador region. Meanwhile, in Newfoundland, the St. John's breed disappeared because of government restrictions and tax laws. Families could keep no more than one dog, and owning a female carried high taxes. So breeders culled girl puppies from their litters. In England, however, the Labrador breed thrived, and the Kennel Club recognized the Labrador Retriever as a distinct breed in 1903. Today, the Labrador breed is the most popular dog breed worldwide. While no single person can take the credit for creating the Golden Retriever, the person attributed to its creation was Scottish aristocrat and avid hunter Dudley Majorabanks, the first buried Tweedmouth. Lord Tweedmouth lived in the Scottish Highlands, and it is here that the Golden Retriever arose as a separate breed. Majorabanks was looking for a retriever that excelled in fetching from water as well as on land. He also wanted the dog to be loyal and even tempered in the home. His original cross was a yellow-colored retriever and a now-extinct Tweed Water Spaniel. In 1868, this cross produced a litter of four pups. These four became the basis of a breeding program which included the Irish Satter, the St. John's Water Dog, and a few other breeds. Golden Retrievers were first accepted for registration by the Kennel Club of England in 1903 as Flatcoats Golden. In 1938, the Golden Retriever Club of America formed. As with the Labrador, the Golden is consistently in the top five most registered AKC breeds. Although both breeds were born to be skilled hunting dogs, their intelligence and gentleness have brought them into the homes as loving family companions. Both breeds are among the most utilized breeds of service dogs today. The Lab is a true man's best friend, and is happiest when engaged in family activities. Loyal, lovable, happy, and friendly to all he meets, the Lab has the reputation of being one of the most sweet-natured breeds. It's outgoing, eager to please, and friendly with both people, all people, and other animals. They make an excellent choice for first-time dog owners. Like Labs, Golden Retrievers need people and large active families. The Golden is one of the finest family dogs, cheerful, demonstrative, trustworthy with everyone, and forgiving of any mistakes made by inexperienced owners. The Golden Retriever is the classic family pet. They are obedient, playful, intelligent, well-mannered, great with kids, and friendly to strangers. They're good watchdogs, but make lousy guard dogs as they love people far too much to be effective. Personality-wise, the Golden Retriever can be more in tune with human emotions and needs than the Lab, but both breeds are excellent family companions. The Golden Retriever comes in all colors, as long as that color is gold, in all shades of gold, from light to dark gold. Golden Retrievers have a dense water repellent outer coat with a thick undercoat. Some coats are wavy, some are straight. The fur feathers on the back of the front legs and underbody with heavier feathering on the chest, back of the thighs, and the tail. The Golden's thick coat means lots of grooming. Daily brushing is recommended to prevent tangling and once a week is a very bare minimum. Your Golden will also need a bath at least once a month, often more frequently to keep down its noticeable doggy odor. You can find the Lab in chocolate, black, and yellow. Its sleek and easy care coat also has two layers, a short, thick, straight top coat and a soft, weather-resistant undercoat. These two-layered coats protect the dog from the cold and wet, a good trait for a water retriever. 
Grooming doesn't get much easier than with a lab, but like the gold in the lab does shed. A lot. A really, really lot. Buy a quality vacuum cleaner. Labs also need a bath every month or so to keep them looking clean and smelling good. Of course, if your lab or golden rolls in a mud puddle, which is apt to do, it's okay to bathe them a bit more often. Both breeds are of comparable size and are considered large dog breeds. The Golden Retriever weighs between 55 to 75 pounds at 20 to 24 inches tall, while the Labrador weighs between 65 and 80 pounds at 21 to 25 inches tall. As I mentioned before, both breeds excel in assistance dog work. Besides their people-loving personalities, these breeds possess a high level of trainability. They both have intelligence and eagerness to please that make them a breeze to train. These dogs are always at the top of their obedience classes and are often the champions of sporting competitions. However, the Golden tends to be more intuitive to his person's emotions than the Labrador. You are looking at highly active dogs. They need to run, they love to play, and they really like water. They can successfully live in an apartment or other small home, but you're going to have to get out of the house with them several times a day and make frequent visits to the dog park. These are not couch potato dogs. If you are a highly active person who enjoys outdoor activities, these are the dogs for you. If you're not up to the task, there are many other breeds to fulfill your needs. A bored golden or lab is not a happy dog. Both breeds generally live between 10 to 12 years, about average for a dog their size. However, some do live considerably longer. Adjutant, the Labrador, was born in 1936 and died in 1963, some 27 years and 3 months later. The oldest known Golden was nearly 20 when he died. Health concerns that Golden Retrievers and Labrador share, high cancer risk, obesity, hip dysplasia, and ear infections. So with all the similarities, how do you choose between these two lovable breeds? Since both breeds are so popular, it shouldn't be hard to find one at the dog park or a local meetup. You may even have a friend that has one. No matter which you choose, you'll be gaining a lovable family member. Remember, if you're considering one of these dogs, there are breed-specific rescue organizations that are usually a simple Google search away. Being so popular, you may find one in your local shelter. So which of these fantastic retriever breeds would you pick? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, you can check out some other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cute cuddly canines. And as always, catch you next time.